Not to worry, we have the latest news about them and when we're going to get our hands on them. So let's get started with the release date. This year in 2021, we're expecting an end September, early October launch of all four iPhone 13 models. Now, right away, you're probably wondering how on earth have we got to this conclusion? Well, it's quite simple and logistic really when you think about it. Let's do a quick summary of how we have got here by doing a tiny summary of the last 10 years of iPhone model release dates. If we go way back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th, 2011. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September the 21st, 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead to say 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus release year where we had a release date of September 16th. Then in 2019 we saw the release date of the iPhone XS or the 10s on September 21st and the 10R or the XR on October 26th. And last year, for example, with the iPhone 12 models release dates, they were from October 23rd to November 13th. Now, mainly you can see the release dates have been an end September to end October, with the main exception of last year, where it was a bit unusual for the iPhone 12 due to covid we had a bit of delay on the release of the models however if the pandemic dies down we expect an apple event in september for the iphone 13 models with a release of mid-october compared to the delayed launch we had in 2020. we will also see other events for other apple products like the macbooks ipads apple watch airpods and loads more and if you want more info about these products do check out my other videos on this channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell to get the latest news on them for price i'll get onto in the mo for each of the models but first let's talk about that new leak of the camera ranger change on the back of a prototype iphone 13 mini so a leak shows what could very well be the back of the smallest new iPhone for 2021 and crucially the rear pair of cameras rearranged to a diagonal setup rather than the vertical line that we saw on the iPhone 12 mini and the normal 12 and also the iPhone 11. The leak sourced from a post on a Chinese social website called Weibo appears to be an actual photo of the actual iPhone 13 mini as a prototype. While there's no way to tell if the device is functional or anything more than just could be a plastic mock-up, it's still the first potential design that is seen in the wild of any physical iPhone 13 model. Other leakers and reporters like Everything Apple Pro has said that this could happen and this does now support those rumours that the rear cameras indeed will have a diagonal setup. The current iPhone Pro models do technically have diagonal cameras at the moment with three lenses so we don't think much will change there. But what is interesting for example the new iPad Pro M1 didn't have this diagonal camera arrangement but instead it's more like the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11 camera setup. In fact, if you want to hear more about upcoming reviews of the iPad Pro M1 and what it's capable of doing and also the iMac Pro one, make sure to check out my other videos on this channel and subscribe and press the notification bell to get those latest videos. So next, let's talk about the iPhone 13 model prices and the best way to do this is give you a summary of what we know so far for all the models. So let's begin with the smallest iPhone what's going to come out, the iPhone 13 mini. It will have a 5.4 inch LTPO OLED display, what is different from the OLED display what's been in the iPhone 12s. It will have a resolution though of 2340 by 1080 and it will be a 60 hertz refresh rate screen. It will come with the options this year with 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes. There will be that new A. 15 Bionic with 5G connectivity inside it, 4 gigabytes of RAM and the main body will be made out of aluminium. On the rear, again, just like the iPhone 12, we will have a dual camera setup. Prices start with the base model of 128 gigabytes for 699 US dollars and go all the way up to 512 gigabytes for 849 US dollars. 
Moving next onto the iPhone 13, it will have a 6.1 inch LTPO OLED display and its resolution for that will be 2532 by 1170 and again it will have a 60 hertz refresh rate display. Again the storage options are very similar to the 